What's good? How you doing? football for the same team, Lady Elite, um, for probably about, geez, was this 2021 for almost 10 years now. Um, started off as a blocking back. My cousin, I always tell his story. He told me, hey, Key, I need you to play quarterback. You can throw rocks. So I just took a shot at it, and I've been playing quarterback ever since. That's been about six years now, maybe seven, six or seven years. Nice. A key thing you talked about that I definitely want to touch on later. You said the same team consistently for the last. I bleed green all day. I got on a list yellow, but I keep green. Starting <laughs> early, I'm definitely going to cook you if you if you keep going. <laughs> Lady of life, for sure. <laughs> okay, next question. And getting to know Key, where are you from originally? So people always refer to the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area as the DMV. I'm from the D and the DMV, Southeast D.C. So I'm from Washington, D.C., Southeast. Nice. So you're from D.C. Uh, where'd you go to college? I played basketball at St. John's University in New York um, many, 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 many years ago. Um, but yeah, I played ball at St. John's in New York. Nice, nice. So DC, New York, you went out to like Arizona for a little bit too, or something like that. Yeah, when I graduated college, I moved out to Phoenix myself, my brother, I took him out there, took a couple of my cousins out there. And I lived out there for about eight years. Um, went down to the University of Arizona for graduate school, um, got a master's in education, saved that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I lived out in Phoenix for eight years. I feel like that's my second home because I kind of became an adult there. So I lived there throughout my 20s and came back home at probably 31. Nice. Beauty, brains, athletic, total package. T dope. Um, last <laughs> question. Okay, so just to get to know you, tell us something we don't know about you. We're going to play a game, two truths, one lie. I'll try to guess which one's the lie. All right, so two truths and a lie. Okay. I own a 1969 Camaro. Okay. I have five vehicles, and I was once on a talk show. Ha, okay. Uh, that was <laughs> tricky, because at first I was like, okay, well, the cars got to be the truth, because they're together. Five cars with 69, that means you're a car collector that you're big <laughs> into cars. So I'm going to say the last one is a lie that you were on a talk show. No, I was on a talk show. Actually, I wasn't actually a guest. I went to the Ellen Vigil show <laughs> a long time ago. Um, I do have five vehicles. I do not have a 1969 Camaro, but I would love to have one one day. So Nice. We're going to have to Google the episode. What you was on Ellen's show for? Girl, they did a studio tour. It was one of the people I was dealing with at the time. They had won tickets, and so they had a studio tour, and we went over there, and got to sit on the um, stage for like a bunch of different sitcoms. So it was pretty cool. Wow. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, let's hey, jump right into our... Hmm? I was talking to Britt. She said, hey, sis. I see my aunt on here, too. John. Hey, Aunt John. <laughs> hey, Auntie. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely do that. So we'll read y'all's comments as they come through so that y'all can chime in and be a part of the conversation. So um, this next segment, y'all can chime in if you want. We are talking about a limboist Recap. So uh, we'll start with five women non-contact. So five women non-contact, they also won seven 
two women screen. Um, and in both games, they it all came down to the same two teams, which was the Academy versus Lady Venom. Now, Lady Venom did take the championship for both of those um, categories. And I got a chance to talk to Ray a little bit from Lady Venom. And I said, you know, would you guys ever be interested in, like, eight and things like that? And she said, possibly. So what do you think about, like, if Lady Venom came to eight women and played? Wouldn't that be cool, like, to have another team? It would be cool to have another team, um, just as long as they know what they're getting themselves into. Like, screen and contact are completely different. Much respect to all of those young ladies who play screen. They have some phenomenal athletes over there, I will not lie. But it is a different ball game when you are getting hit and <laughs> catch the ball. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to open arms. Hey, one of my kids is on here. What's up, Ash? <laughs> hey, Ash. <laughs> So yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a different ball game. It really it's is. A different um, ball. You will yeah. get. Okay, you will. Eight women's. They do not play around. I know y'all see these ladies out here, super strong. You got sevens and fives are super strong too. But these eight women's ladies, man, I don't know. It's just something different about them. They got that that hunger, that drive, and they ready to take your head off every play. So come on over. <laughs> Come on over. As a quarterback, do you um, find yourself like, okay, you know how tough these chicks are. Do you ever like just throw the ball out of bounds? Like, I ain't gonna get hit. Nah. I'm, I like it because honestly, and I know people probably say this, if you come to take my flag, I'm going to hit you with a fall. I'll take the penalty, but trust me, I'm I'm about 200 pounds. I'm not that no wreck. I want the <laughs> ball out of bounds for nobody like you know come hit me because trust me i got goals on my side if you hit me, then my friend, <laughs> think of one. Listen. Like, you don't run over there, huh? like, <laughs> i'm listen i'm not ducking right because if you hit me, but you know what for the most part in eight months, i don't know if the women are just being respectful or you know they know i'm old and fragile so you know they'll take it easy on me hand me my flag i'm like thanks sweetheart like, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, no ducking right. <laughs> but them taking it easy, you guys got to the championship in Lynn Lewis. So, for five women contacts, she unit took that. Congrats to them. Um, mm -hmm. But let's talk about eight women. No doubt. So, eight women's was very tough. Um, a few of those teams pretty surprised me. Like, there were a lot of good teams. A few teams that normally play B, Lady Tigers. Um <laughs> They stepped up and played a DC Bad Girls, who's a who's a phenomenal team. They stepped up. Um, they played really well. Um, Capital Punishment. You gotta give my hometown team love. Like all of the teams played pretty well. Um, championship game. It came down to us and Bama. You know, Lady Elite. We not known for making excuses. I'm gonna tell you like this. I had a horrible game. I probably played one of the worst games in my career. I lost that game for Lady Elite. And I'm going to tell you like this, Bama, y'all can't beat us on a key good day. I'm putting it out there right now. Y'all can't beat us on a good day. So <laughs> enjoy that win. You know what I'm saying? Get yourselves ready for national. <laughs> different ball game. Trust me. Y'all put y all, y all on a good day. Oh, okay. It was okay. me. It was me, Web. I threw, you can't throw two picks. Pick six is an expected win a game. You know what I'm saying? That's true. me. My team, they ball. Bama's offense did not score on us. Our defense did a phenomenal job. It was key web. It was a bad key web day. You do not always see a bad key web day. And for all y'all Bama's on the chat, right in there, y'all know that. Y'all never see that from key web. So you won't see it. Again. She says I'm weak. <laughs> she was laughing, I guess she's like, I'm weak. Because <laughs> I told her I'm a cooker on here. But yeah, that was that was that was on me. But you know what? Shout out to Bama. They got some listen, they got some dogs over there. Like I'm glad to see my sister right back. Rashida, a little stretch strong. She's balling. Um, I mean, Ray, they, I mean, they all they got some athletes. Lane knows how to win games. I mean, like, he's got those girls balling, they stick together. I love it. I just hope they don't drop back down the beat. You know, like the beat. Bam. You know, if they missing a player here, there, they go to B. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got time for all that. Y'all stay. <laughs> <laughs> we love Bama. You know, Bama's a part of Atlanta League, so we get to see those girls all the time. It was really cool to see Brittany back, but she was out for like a year. 
Yeah, she was out. But you know, she got she was out, but she got some things done in her personal life. You know what I mean? See, she got the little needles and stuff going on. So now they're gonna have it all together. I need my nails done when I get to Florida. Um, but <laughs> If she don't put hands on me, then I will run the house if she coming up. So it is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's read Brittany's comment. You guys, we had a comment coming directly from Britt. Let's take that away. What did she say? What did Brittany say? Still got jokes. What they talking about, girl? You know I'm old. I can't really read this. All right, Cam on. Brittany say... We didn't, um, we didn't drop Lynn Lewis when we beat y'all, missing seven players. So. But I'm saying, they, see, here's the thing, and and I love that because we lost, and the only excuse I had for us losing is that I played a poopy game because that's what it is. If Lady Elite goes to a tournament with eight players, if we go with twenty players, if we lose, we lose. I don't care who we missing. You ain't hearing me talking about how many people missing in that championship game we had people missing but we still should beat bama at the end of the day lady elite i don't care who we got if we got eight players and a coach we should beat whoever steps on the field in front of us period i don't care how many players you need if they missing they missing they're not a part of the team you can only play eight at a time you know what i mean Interesting. I cannot wait to see this battle. Uh, hopefully, this will become a battle at Nationals. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I really go ahead. want to see this become a battle at Nationals. Now, some people were talking about, um, you know, some people, I, I know, like, when I did the podcast with the, um, and I always mess up these these little, these names, F, like, you, there's USFL and there's FFWCT. And I know that FFWCT, some people were asked, like, were talking about going over there. But where is Elite going for nationals? Oh, we're going to the UFFL with my man huh? D. Hall, of course, and Aaron. Um, they got the best product for eight women's contact, eight women's flag in general, right? I think eight man, too. Like, nothing against flag football world championship tour, because guess what? We got a surprise for them, too. Not Lady Elite, but... We got a surprise for them too. Um, but as far as as a whole, um, I think UFFL. Well, I know UFFL has the best product for us. So, you know, we're gonna go back and make a run for that national championship again. We'll be there. Nice, nice. Now you know. Now you know, Key. I, I'm an Atlanta girl, so I always I'm gonna rock with Bama on this, and I'm gonna put a ten push up plus a smoothie from Smoothie King. I need a size large if you want to take me up on that bet. Hey, throw something, throw something else in there. What you? I mean, if they make it to us, then sure. Guess what? <laughs> just go uh, ahead. Do you not care? I mean, I just, just go ahead. I need my push Gator up. Give me some, give me some those game. Game price from Papa Do's. That's what I'll take. Just go ahead and Ooh, buy them. Listen. I can get you an appetizer. That's fine. Or just bring me a whole cater. Because Bama not going to beat us. <laughs> All right, you got it, Papa Do's. Papa Do's, a full meal, three-course meal, appetizer, meal, and dessert. I'm putting my money on Bama Nationals. Um, Akia, I need my Papa Do's. Uh, no, I'm getting Papa Do's. <laughs> I'm getting Papa Do's. All right. So, yes, yeah, that was us talking about the Lynn Lewis. That's our recap on Lynn Lewis. Make sure um, that you, you know, get all that information. Lynn Lewis actually put out some dates for the next upcoming Lynn Lewis's. So, you know, that's great. Um going to be in the D D. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. She changed it to D.C. So, listen. How many of us? D.C. Yeah, it's, it's going to be in D.C. So, you know. Prior to the one in Florida and then this last one in Miami, you know, the two that she did this year in Florida, we were coming down to Atlanta. So we always talk about this. Y'all Bama's from Bama. Y'all Atlanta teams, y'all North Carolina teams. Nice to see you, y'all travel, you know what I'm saying? Y'all North Carolina teams, y'all teams from across the country. You got to come to D.C. because D.C. comes everywhere okay so if y'all don't show up in dc next year at lynn lewis the 15th anniversary you will not see the dc teams i'm speaking for everybody right now even though i'm not 
We ain't messing with y'all no more. Y'all the national. Because we always come to y'all. Y'all never come to us. Come get some of this mumbo sauce, listen to this go-go. Get your heads knocked in because it's DC versus everybody. <laughs> oh, hey, um, Guys, bro. is it, is it... <laughs> It's not cold. It's not cold. It's not cold. We'll be there. Listen, get you a parka. Get you some Uggs. Be here. I don't want to hear about no cold because Atlanta, it <laughs> formed on us for a whole two days, one year. We, I we that. Yeah, and we were there and we came. So, yeah, come on up. Y'all play. All right. I'll definitely give me a flight. DC flights are easy. Let's go on to what's coming up this weekend. This weekend, we're going to talk to you guys about the ATL League. The league is over. It is Championship Sunday. It is win or go home this Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, um, Key, we're going to go into a little segment called Who You Got? So, we're going to start off telling you, I'm going to tell you the teams that are set to face off on Sunday. And you tell me who you, who's going to win. Who you got? Who you with? Okay. And if you guys are just joining us, this is your girl, Shauna XL, Hill to Cleet. And we're talking to Key, I knew it's host. All right, so Atlanta League Championship Sunday, game one. NTV Wolfpack, who is from Alabama, versus X Factor. Who you got? Um, I don't know anything about any of those teams, but since the Wolfpack is from Bama, and my sis from Bama, I'm going to go with the Wolfpack. <laughs> All right, we see that Wolfpack on that. Good luck to both. Good luck to both. Yeah, that's going to be anybody's game, so you couldn't have gone wrong against them for that one. Okay. Storm versus Cold Red. Ooh. I'm going to go with the Storm. All right. What do you so think? Over there. I mean, what? I think... I think Cold Red has really been struggling this year. Um, I think it's because, you know, he's always having to replace and start over every year. Mm -hmm. Storm also did the same thing this year, but I'm going to give it to Storm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, out of that round, and we're talking about the B division. So, the two teams that had a bye are the Lady Warriors and the Lady Stallions. So, if we go with who you think is going to win, MTV Wolfpack versus Lady Warriors. Who you got? I'm going to go with the Warriors because they already up. You know what I'm saying? So that must mean they're doing something. And it's B. I don't know what to speak on B, but I'm going to go ahead and speak on B because it's your show. So, yeah, I'm going to go with B. <laughs> All right. So we go with the Warriors here. And then after that, we have the ATL Stallions versus if, if Storm win like you predict, Storm. Who you with? I'm going with the Stallions. Yeah. Okay. I'm going with the Stallions. So basically, based on your prediction, and who you with, the championship would blow down to the Lady Warriors versus the Lady Stallions. Who would win the championship? Who you with? The Lady Stallions. The Lady Stallions. All right, we're going to see if you're right at the end of this for next week. All right, let's get into B, um, A, um, the pro division. So, round <laughs> one, Bama Fire versus AOA, Athletes of Atlanta. I hate to say it, Bama. <laughs> as long as they wearing them Ronald McDonald uniforms, they good. They Gucci. I gotta what's on here again. Kara, what's up? Dudes, what's up, baby? I miss you. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Atlanta Primetime versus Atlanta Rebels. Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna say the primetime. I got so much respect for primetime because they always jump in the A. That is respect. They trying to take the hit lumps. You know what I'm saying? You only get better by playing the best. I got prime time. Okay. All right. APOC versus if you know, you know. <laughs> is Chat playing? Who? Is Chastity playing? Chat. You know what? Here's the deal. I saw Chat playing at Lynn Lewis, but I heard a report today that Chat is not going to be playing in championships. Have I confirmed that? No, it's all alleged, but I heard that she is hurt. Okay. Well, even with her being out, if you know, you know, I played them. I played against them at Lynn Lewis. They have a very athletic team. Lindsay says yes. Her teammate Lindsay, who's the center, Lindsay says yes, she will be playing. Um, but you know what? They also have Bree. Have you have you noticed Bree? Have you heard about Bree? I know that name. But you, you mentioned she's um light with the curly hair. She usually wears yeah. something in a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken ball. Chicken 
Dragon Ball, yeah. so I'm definitely gonna go with A Pop. But if you know, you know, they are going to go great places. They got some athletes, a lot of those girls I recognize in the past. They're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. I gotta give a shout out to my grandson, Tattoo. <laughs> Later. <laughs> You don't look like nobody, Grandma. I'm a grandma. I got three kids on here. Good genes, man. Good genes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, it's you know, you know, it's a you, it's a good team, and they're combined. So they and they've only been together for a short while, but they are, mm -hmm. you know, they are seasoned athletes. So next year, I, I'm, I'm expecting to see a lot from them, um, or even in the playoffs because it's any given Sunday. Um, Tigers versus Arsenal is the next one. Who you got? Tigers. Okay. I got Tigers because they, they can ball. My girl, Trent, she is a beast. You hear me? She one of my favorite players and flag. Shout out to Trent, man. Like, she is a dog. Like, I, I give people their props, but, like, she can go. For sure. Trina will go, go, go. Trina, <laughs> Trina is one of those. Trina no. is serious about flag. No doubt. All right, so these people boil down to it, then it would be if if the winners that you say win, then it would be Bama versus Primetime. Who you got? What? From your predictions, <laughs> if these people won, then these are the ones that would go to the semi championship. Bama, it would be Bama versus Primetime based on your prediction. All right, I'm going with I'm going with the Bamas for five hundred, Alex. All right, APOC versus Tigers. Ooh. Mm, that's tough. Ooh, because the Tigers, man, they sneaky. They are very sneaky, yo. I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, but because they sneaky, I'm going with APOC. <laughs> beat them. Beat them. Because the Tigers, y'all, man, y'all real sneaky. Y'all done went down in the and stole that money. I told you <laughs> Um, all right. And if if these predictions fall the way that you predict based on who you win, the championship game would be Bama Fire versus APOC. Who you got? Hold on. Lance said not tough. Nope, not tough. Lance must play for APOC, huh? Lance plays for APOC. <laughs> I can barely see her picture. Y'all know I'm old. Sorry, Lance. Lance. Will you be back? Because she was in a cat. Uh, she had hurt her leg, so I don't. I, will you be back, Lens, for this Sunday, or are you still out? I think she'll probably still be out. She, we'll see what she, she said. Hey, but her hands still work. I see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, will you, will you, oh no, she's injured. We'll get well soon. Get well soon. Well, since she not playing, then I'm gonna go ahead and say Bama gonna take it all. Nah, nah, hold on. Let me think about that. Bama got a little cocky because after they beat us, all of a sudden now every girl on their team is the best at their position in the world. Told you I was gonna get it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going with A pop. <laughs> okay. All right. So y'all heard it here first. Who you yeah. win? Prediction. Keep predicting that A pop will win the entire AWFFL U. See Michelle now put that U on there. AWFFL U championship. And that's who you with. Um, okay, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna hey, see what happens. Andy. <laughs> Man. All right, y'all. So next we're gonna jump into DC Eli. Dude. So excited there. All right, so let's take a look at the scores from last week. And then from those scores, we're gonna jump right back into who you got, who you with. Bet. And just to correct something from last week, you guys. DC Eli, their their championship is not until the weekend of the 20th. So I said uh, next week, it is not. It is not. All right. So uh, Black Mamas versus Dreamcatchers, the score was 6-3. to three. That is a lot closer than most people think when they hear those names. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't anticipating that because, I mean, both of them are great teams, don't get me wrong. Um, Dreamcatchers have been you know been having their ups and downs they lost to a couple of teams i didn't think they should lose so i was pretty surprised to see that they went up on the mambas um three nothing um even though i know they're capable of doing that um scoring so late um so yeah 
it, it, it's it's a tough league, so you never really know from Sunday to Sunday. But it was a good game last week. So hopefully the okay. trend kept on up and up since they've been, you know, kind of back and forth. Okay. Let's talk about Lady E B versus Capital Punishment. 12-0. Twelve zero, yeah. We um, <laughs> capital punishment. I hope y'all on here. You could have put up more points than that. No, I'm joking. Nah, it was a good game. <laughs> you know, it's always a good game between us and um, capital punishment. Um, they played us real tough. My girl Ty played a hell of a game on defense for capital punishment. You know, she got a chance to check out top receivers and she showed her own. She did a wonderful job. Um, I give people their props. Um, you know, on the other end, you know, I love my team. I also think my team is the best at what we do at every position. Bryce, you know, she she haven't been playing a lot of offense lately because we trying to get her all the way right on defense. You just have her focus on one thing because we put her through a lot over the past five or six years. Roz doing her thing, El Boogie, London. Um, we got a lot of young girls um, on the team that are doing well. So. You know, a lot of girls getting a chance to play, and a lot of girls, almost every girl played in that Capital Punishment game, which was good. That's what we tried to do before we go on national. Shout out to Capital Punishment. Uh, 12 Donuts. Okay, cool. You want to say um, <laughs> okay, oh, I got those because we want to include y'all too. The girl Rashida was on is tough. That's what Bridget said. Um, the girl Rashida? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Rashida tough. Shorty nice. Rashida's tough. Yeah. One of my favorites. Lady Clan versus Dreamcatcher, zero to ten. Oh, uh, that was a forfeit. So we had a bunch of forfeits um last week. So they they didn't even get a chance to play. Okay. Why'd they forfeit? The Lady Clan? I don't yeah. know. Some days they hit, some days they not. Lady Clan got a bunch of decent little a athletes. Um they just haven't quite jailed yet, but they didn't show, so it is. They, they didn't want to not jail if they didn't show up. They, I don't know. That's <laughs> not jailing is showing up they, and having a bad they, game. They, not showing up is y'all. <laughs> Eight people for one smart trip. They, they Man. Must... <laughs> they said, we, we, we ain't coming today. We don't feel like it. We holler at y'all. <laughs> um. Most wanted versus DMV Seminoles, ten to zero. That's a lot of goose eggs going on in this league. That was a that was a forfeit. I don't know what happened. Uh, but the Lady Seminoles who always show up, they had some girls out of town, didn't say anything till late, so they had to end up forfeiting that game. They didn't have enough to play. To play, okay. All right, cool. Um, Lady Clan, uh, obviously they forfeit versus bad girls. Well, no, yeah. That yeah. Ten, zero, ten. Forfeit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? How do, why do they put a ten there if it's a forfeit? Uh, because you know, at the end of the season, if you have teams with the same record, it goes from wins and losses to head to head to point differential, or from point differential to head to head. One of those, but the points matter. So they give you ten points for a forfeit. So say for instance, at the end of the season. Dream catchers and black muffins both have one loss, right? <clears throat> and they need to determine who gets that number one seed, and they can go to points or head to head. Or, you know, if we had different divisions, they would go straight to points. So they have to give points to the team who won. It's bullshit, so. Makes sense. Make complete sense. Mentioning Dream Catch, I'm sorry, mentioning Black Mamba is Lady Lee. Um, mm -hmm. If we're talking about this week's games, that is the first game on the schedule. That is a very highly anticipated game. How are y'all preparing for that game? And, you know, what's what's going to go on with that game? Same way we prepare for anybody else. They ain't nobody. <laughs> I'm saying it. Too. I like making. They know. They know. But no, nah, same way we doing. Same, same preparation for every team. Of course, you know, different personnel require different things. So. You know, we'll look at the different athletes on their team and get geared up for that. But going to practice, we watch. You know what I mean? We talk about it myself, Coach Duncan, Coach Jamal. Um, they talk to their defensive captains. Just going into it like it's any other game. All of this is one preparation for 
the championship to be played on the weekend of the 20th, and then furthermore for the national championships in January. So it's just another game. It is what it is. But I mean, I'm sure that field will be packed. Um, everybody going to come out this weekend. Everybody going to be amped. I'm always amped when I play the Mambas. I'm always amped when I play Capital Punishment and Dream Catches. Um, everybody, for real. Um, so it's, it's going to be it's going to be a fun game. It's going to start with the coin toss because we both like to sit on the same sideline. So we always have to flip a coin to see who's going to take that walk to the other sideline. Yeah. <laughs> Is that press? I be pressed. I be me. It's me. I'm pressed. They they gonna take that walk. I done lost the coin toss like two years in a row. Tata. Oh, Tata on here. Listen, if I had a chance to play defense and line up against Tata, I would try to knock her head or it's like, nah, I told her I wasn't gonna be mean. That's my homie. I'm glad she back too. Tasha from Black Mama. She used to play center. She played um she plays some tight end receiver now. That's my girl. I'm glad she's back. So we got Two great players back now. We got Brittany back. Tasha, try to tell Tasha to hit the join yeah, button so we can talk to her. Tasha, hit the join button so we can let you on so you can join in. If you're not scared, Tasha, if you're not scared, if you're scared, you scared it's okay. We understand. She was going to talk crap. She tried to send me a picture of the baby to keep me from talking crap. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a little scared. You just got to hit that. The, the ad button, and we'll join, we'll join you in, Tasha, so you can get know, on the conversation. Yeah. She's back. It'll make the game a lot more exciting. She's a great player, so we definitely got to strategize for her as well. So, you know, she just threw another wrinkle in it for us. Nice. Nice. All right, cool. So that's going to be a good game. Can you have somebody to um, announce the Make sure they send it to us so they can record the whole thing, send it to us so we can have it for next week's show. Yeah, we need the whole thing, all the highlights. Um, Did they Spygate. Did you hear me? They, they told you my nickname is Spygate. That's why you asked for film. Ah, ah, ah! I didn't know. I didn't know that. I know now. Spygate. I didn't know that. We want one of the highlights. You want the highlights? Yeah, that's what I usually. I usually edit through for the highlights. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but upcoming this week, also, we have Dreamcatchers versus Most Wanted. Who you got? I'm going with the Dreamcatchers. They rolling. Like I said, they uh, they starting to find their way. Uh, you know, they had some injuries and, you know, some change-ups at key positions. But with Zena's leadership team and some of the other young ladies that's over there, um, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna pull it off. Uh, Stacy's a great coach over there. They got Big Youngin and CC over there, um, Ali and all those guys. I think the Dreamcatch is gonna pull it out. Even though I love people, that is listen the best football, the best quarterback to ever play. That is my girl on um, the play for most wanted. But I just for some reason I think Dreamcatch is gonna pull that one off. Most. Did you say that girl that was Big Youngin? Big Young and Donica Stevens, one of the best to ever do it. You don't know her? With a name like that, I need to get to know her and stay off, like stay out from in front of her. She sound the name Let, just sound like I need is, to get out of her way. <laughs> she is one of the sweetest people you ever want to meet. But when you are in between those lines, she will not go into the next decade. I promise you. She she signs an all American. She's got national championships under her belt. She is legit like she's legit very humble she's a very good oh so she so she is okay yeah yeah big young and okay we good hey big young um <laughs> <laughs> black mamas versus bad girls um black mom black mama's too tough like they they mentally tough um Oh, you ain't asked me about us versus them. Who gonna win? We gonna win, by the way. Yeah, so go, we should go back to that. I thought about that too. So who no, officially? Who you got? I, I got elite. Okay. Elite versus the mamas all day, lady elite. Um, okay. The bad girls, they are definitely a better team this year. Um, but I think the mamas, the mamas too mentally, they know how to win. Like they've been. The Mambas always play like we've been here before, and they, they play all of their games like 
championship game. Like, they not letting off the gas. And I think they just too tough physically and mentally for the bad girl. Mm, okay. Capital punishment versus, but you know, I like the bad girl's colors. I love the pink and the white. It's so girly. It's so cute. Yes, that's just for October. I know, but they were so cute. I was and they were nice to me. They gave me a whole interview. They were nice. So I'm going to go with the bad girls on that game. That's, yeah. I have them send you a uniform. <laughs> Capital punishment versus most wanted. Well, oh, that's tough. <laughs> they always play each other close. Um, damn, I'm going to say that's going to end in a tie. Can I say that? No, Key, you got to pick. You got to pick. Ain't no gray area. All right, I'm going to say most wanted. Sorry, CP. I don't like y'all this week. I'm going to tell you why I don't like CP this week. Okay. Be there's a video going around from Oh Shit Flag where my homegirl Ty is going up against Ra and the referee didn't call it. So it's a bang bang playing in the end zone. Ra ran a post. She didn't get the pass. It looked like Ty broke it up. But when you slow the video up, you can clearly see Ty is holding this girl's the back of her pants. So everybody like flag or not. So everybody who like Ty and Capital Punishment will say no flag. And then everybody who like Lady Elite gonna be like, of course it's a flag. You know what I'm saying? But oh, we do to be, oh, yeah, a flag on the play. Hold it. I mean, she got this girl's, listen, I mean, all of her little booty would have been out. Oops. All her buttons would have been out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> she definitely was holding my girl right. I still love Ty. That's my dog. But I'm going with most wanted this week, especially for that. Oh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> Coach Gates, make sure you hit that button because we're about to bring you in for this next segment. Savage Sisters, Bad Girls. Savage Sisters is good. Savage Sisters, um, they got a nice little quarterback. They got one of the top. They got a very good receiver. I think she came over from Dream Catches. They got Coach Steve, who has been – around the world and I, I, I. and then of course they got the legend coach deuce coach deuce let me tell you coach deuce is one of the best if not the best because i'm always gonna pick jamal you know that's my man but deuce is the goat that man is like that like all those black mama deuce had a lot to do with that a lot to do with that that defense was amazing you know what i mean like and now that he's the head coach over there at the savage sisters they are going to be a force to be reckoned with like he's going to have the girls balling so watch out black they coming so but coach I, Deuce was a part of black mamas for a while if that's a cool. he created savage sisters yep yeah okay and they're building how long has savage sisters been in existence They've only they started at the beginning of last year. They didn't even play spring, so they started really in the summer. And then they, they went to a tournament. I think they went to a couple of tournaments at this point. And now they're playing in the DC Eli Fall League. But they can play. Like they've got those girls rolling. Like they can really ball. And um So wow. Hmm. Yeah. That has a lot to do with the coaches. You know what I mean? Like it has a lot to do with the coaches. Because I'm telling you, Coach Deuce is he's great. He's a great guy. Coach Steve is a great guy. You know what I mean? They teach the game. Those girls are balling. They're not better than my coaches, but they good coaches. <laughs> All right. Gotta throw that in there. But you think when Coach Deuce and Coach uh, Coach Deuce and Coach um, I'm going brain Rick Rick when they uh, it's gonna be a battle of the coaches because they both have the talent, but it's gonna be a battle of like the mental when they play whenever those two teams play head to head. I think the Savage Sisters got a little while to get up to the to the Mamba's level. Rick is now Rick is I don't like Rick, just so we clear. No, nah, I'm joking. He alright. But Rick is on the same level. You know what I mean? Like those two together were a perfect match, you know what I mean? And now that they're apart, Rick is a genius. Like and I don't even think Rick's a very smart guy. But when it comes to this football I'm just teasing. That's my man. I'm just teasing. I know, I know. When it comes to this football, this dude is a genius, all right? He is, I like him 
better than every coach outside of my own coaches because my coaches are the best. Like I keep saying, Duncan and Jamal, the best to ever do it. Um, if Rick is a genius, Deuce is a genius. Like, but once Deuce gets his team up to par, it's gonna be crazy because Rick coached offense, Deuce coached defense, and Deuce was a part of that Black Mamas thing for so long. He's gonna know what Rick is thinking and, and vice versa. Rick's going to be like, oh, Deuce would do this on defense if he see this. So, you know, it's going to be crazy. Nice, nice. Hopefully, wow. Okay, I have to see that one. Capital yeah. Punishment versus Lady Clan. I saw Capital Punishment down to Lynn Lewis. I felt like from the last time they were here in Atlanta for uh, Halloween Havoc last year to seeing them at Lynn Lewis last month, I feel mm -hmm. like, I don't know, they, they really, like, they just really were, like, they just look like they excel. Like, they just, I don't know if they got, like, new players, what they're doing, they're training more. But then I also saw Dreamcatchers, and I kind of expected a little bit more from Dreamcatchers. So did Dreamcatchers just kind of, like, or did Capital Punishment just step way up? Um, you talking about down in Miami? Yeah. Yeah, down in Miami, um, Capital Punishment had a few extras. They might be a part of the would be good, um, you know, if they can keep those players on their team. I think those players from different states or what have you. But I think, um, I don't know, I didn't really get to see that frame catches. Like I said, you know, they, they had with some growing, but come Nationals, they're going to be right back on it. But Capital Punishment has definitely improved. Um in some areas, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like their defense is a little tighter, even though they're missing a couple pieces. Um, hey, boo. Sorry, I got my little boo on here. He's saying hi. Um, <laughs> but hey, boo. <laughs> hey, boo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I think Dreamcatch is just going through, you know, some stuff maybe. Um, they didn't play as well as, you know, they didn't play up to their potential. Down in Miami, I know they felt like they could have done better. And Capital Punishment, they were just locked in. Like, you know, sometimes when you have players, you you lock in, you focus. Up. People got to step up. So I think that's, you know, that's kind of what happened. Okay, cool. It's noticeable. So who you got? Capital Punishment, Lady Clan. Oh, Capital Punishment all day. I love Lady Clan. Like I said, I love everybody, but Capital Punishment is way too much for Lady Clan. Way too much. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, that's um, that is definitely the DC Eli League. You guys have just tuned in. I'm your girl, Shauna XO, and this is Key. And this is Hills to Cleat, which she told me we're going to have to talk about that name because she ain't never wore no heels in our lives. She don't wear heels. So we, nope. we have to talk about that. No heels. <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> we're going to talk about it. Go ahead and um, hit the button to join in because we're about to talk about how we have it before we close out. So we want to make sure that we get a chance to talk to you. Um, you know, going to the championship. I mean, my gosh, that's a the Styles have gone to the championship twice now. They went uh in Lynn Lewis. Uh they had to face off off against the Rebels, and then they went here in um and then they're I'm sorry, and then they went here for Halloween Havoc, which is a big deal for them because for last year, Christmas Cash, they actually won it. So they've been doing really well, stepping up really good. So Coach Gate, I'm telling you to um chime in. Um, I see what did Brittany just say? I just saw her say something. Let me give him a um, this awesome. I gotta wear a dress. Oh, nah, oh, he's so cute. I can take it out for you. That should be the bet. Like, that should be the bet. Like, okay, that should be the new bet, right? So, I'll see with Papa Dose. That's fine, but you know, Papa Dose is a good bet. Make that the bet. If they beat me, if they beat Lady Elite, I'll throw on a dress, but I'm gonna have to dress you too when we beat them. All right, that's cool. I'm Listen, I listen. I'm not worried. I, I know. 
I know Coach Lane. He's so smart. He's gonna make he's gonna make this happen. He figures out a way. He's kind of like incomparable to how you talked about Rick. Like he'll figure out like uh-huh. like they play chess, you know? Yeah, but did he figure out how to stop dropping a B yet? AKB, I'm not wearing a dress, man. <laughs> he figured out how to stop y'all at Lynn Lewis. He did. He did. I did. I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw y'all some pics, take it to the house, and that's what happened. <laughs> All right, so before we get out of here, we were, we had Coach Gaines to join in, but he's not going to join in. That's okay. Congratulations to all the teams that participated in Halloween Havoc. It was a great tournament. One of the things that was not offered at the tournament that some people talked about was, A, why is eight women A not offered at different tournaments? Uh, one of the things that we talked about before, and I know, Key, you got this question, is, is eight women A dying out? It is not what the it is, is that people are definitely. I say this all the time. Like back in the day when I first started, KB on here, she know. Listen, it was no B. You understand what I'm saying? There was no B. It was just A. So whether you were number one or you were number seventeen, and you got to play a most wanted team, had every boogie and A game and props at eleven o'clock. Butt kick. And you were out on a Friday, that's what happened. You know what I mean? The issue is that it's a lot of good teams playing B because they want to say that they won something. No, everybody should take their lumps. If you're a legit B team, be a legit B team, but don't go and play in an A tournament and then go hop down to play in a B tournament because you want to win some money. Like, I don't know if they need to get like some type of. Um, tournament points and league points and if you have over a certain amount of points and wins you have to play a and then if you don't have that much you have to play b but something has to happen because lady elite we we haven't won a championship in ufl so technically any a team other than the moms can go down and play b like who's going to say that we can't play b you know what i mean but we know that lady elite and the bamas and the apox are not caliber teams and so you know we keep it 100 and we go play a we want the bomb you know what I mean? you got an Atlanta prime time who probably know they won't win a for a few years you know what i mean but they come and they play a i can respect that because they want to get better you know what I mean? how long are you gonna face a big championship 10 years 20 years if i'm an athlete i've never played jp in my life not to say that there's anything wrong with that but if i'm an athlete and i'm on one of these teams yeah, I'm going to step up and I'm going to go to A. We, we have girls on our team that play B that say, guess what? Like, I'm ready to step it up a level. I'm, I'm better than this. I want to go and play against the best. You know what I mean? And so then they come to us or they go to a mama or they go to a bam or a park or whomever. Because staying in B for so long is, is not good enough. Like, I remember the all mess, the most wanted, the lady cougars. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the, the reloaded. like, knocking people's heads off you know what i mean like and nobody complained like we just went and we played you know what i mean but nowadays it's like oh we'll just go play b so you got eight teams eight teams in a or division one now but you have failed and you got 20 teams division two that's crazy you know what i mean now i could see if they didn't give any money championship give them a participation award if you want to play competitive then you, you're you not a pro, so you don't get money. If you're not a pro, you're not supposed to get money, right? So now, all that money, guess what? All y'all little entry fees and stuff, I bet if they say, guess what? Comp division, you get a T-shirt, and thanks for coming out for your champion. And, hey, guess what? Y'all going to get five stacks, and y'all going to get all the money that was over here, plus y'all money, because y'all play A. I guarantee you see the shift, 20 teams in A, eight teams in B. But people so you don't. think one of the solutions, because Kim says that she thinks the solution is teams should only be allowed to play in B for five years. You're saying one of the solutions is if you put all the money in the prize in A, then the teams are going to step up to A. Right. I think I think you got to do that. And I think there has to be some type of point system. You know what I mean? Like, well, it, it has to be something because you can't necessarily have individuals vote because I'm going to vote for every team to be in A. You know what I mean? But if you got a point system, let's say, for instance, if you got, so you take the DC Eli League, 
And out of the DC Eli League, you got Lady Elite, Black Mambas, Capital Punishment, Dream Catchers, Most Wanted. We all play A down in Nationals. You know what I mean? Then you got the DC Bad Girls who can beat DC Bad Girls undefeated, by the way, right now. And granted, I think they're going to go and play A this year because I've been clowning Mike Reveal. Granted, they might be number three in the league, but then they'll go to Nationals and play B. I shouldn't have used DC Bad Girls because they're going to be mad. Or Lady Elite. Let's switch Lady Elite and DC Bad Girls. But, you know, then we number three up in Eli, but then we go play B at a tournament or at Nationals. That's not right. That shouldn't be allowed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know how it was allowed. You, you stealing, you trying to steal a championship, steal money. And then you get there, you get the egg. You put a leak down in my ass, doing all this. The Dominators had a bomb team. They had combined. They went to Nationals and got a dip. That flag football. So Chastity thinks that a solution, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Chat. Yep. Mm-hmm. For fun. For you bleeding fun. out, but if you guys can't hear Keith, um, she's basically saying, you know, B should be, uh, you know, say it again, Keith. Can we hear you now? I was just saying, B. It, it has there to be go. some ratings. You can hear me. I feel yeah, like I if you yeah. finish in the top of your league, you have to go A. Like, you know what I mean? If you finish it in the top of these tournaments, you have to go A. You can't go B. You you duck and wreck. Like, and then to have B players talking smack. Like, I mean, <laughs> you, the Lady Titans, for example. And like I said, Brandis and Jen and all those guys, they cool, Corey and them. But if y'all playing the A tournament at Lynn Lewis, but then y'all went and played in Halloween Havoc, which I have nothing against Halloween Havoc. I think what James is doing is great. You know what I mean? Um, You know, for those things. Don't talk smack to me, dude. You're not on my level. You're don't talk to me. You know what I mean? If you're gonna talk smack, stay in A so I get a chance to smack you back. Don't talk smack to me because you play one little tournament at A and then jump back down to B and go hide. No, nah, stay in A so I can smack you back. But I ain't about to smack nobody child because that's what you are when you play J B. When you play B, you somebody's child. Unless you're the first Unless you, in the first three years of your team, you somebody's child. If you first three years, I'm not saying five. If you first three years, that's six seasons, right? Spring, fall, spring. Yeah. 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 So, I can't count. Um, that's three years. You should you should be able to move on up. So, I don't have no problems with the same sisters being and B. You know what I mean? Like, some of these, you, if you know, you know, being and B. You know what I mean? But these teams that's been around for a long time, you need to go to A. Now, I will say the Lady Seminoles, that's my homeboy's team. They done had so much adversity. People stealing their players, all that type of stuff. They need to stay in B. You know what I'm saying? But you Lady Tigers, you DC Bad Girls, you, who else? Um, who else I'm trying to think of that then jumped down to be in? Nobody else. Oh, Bama, Bama, y'all. <laughs> hey, it's no B for y'all. It's no B. It's you no B. Let them live that one down, ain't you? you I'm not going to let them live it down. They're about to steal a championship and they got smacked by DC Bad Girls. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done roasting. I'm done roasting. Oh, Lord. All right. Guys, if you there, I saw you come in. I tried to ask you, try to resend it because it said that for some reason you could not join um and while we try to get gays to join real quick we're gonna read some of y'all comments um uh, i know that at one point uh let's see let's see i thought the b league was for us old players who just want to play for the and let me see who says that uh kb versus kb so she said i thought the b league was just for the old players who just want to play for the exercise they actually um, got prize money um, for that. So that's a good kind of thing, though, because one of the things would be if B is not going to have prize money, then how will the promoter make money off of making them still pay money to play? 
The promoter shouldn't make no money. Flag ain't about money, it's about the love of the game. <laughs> I'm joking. Listen, it's competitive. You know how many years we went to nationals without getting prize money? Na okay. na nationals, that, that whole USFTL, they never got money. People just started getting money starting when Flag Football World Championship Tour did it. And that's because the press was put on those people. So guess what? If you plan B, you plan rec, it's just like playing PB football. We, I think we got some PB football coaches in the thread. Um, yeah, you get nothing. You get some participation trophy, and maybe y'all can have a little banquet at the end of the day. And the best runner or the best sportsmanship award goes to, you know what I mean? Like, no, you're not getting nothing. No money for y'all. No. Interesting. No money. Interesting. No money. Another comment. Chat City said, I personally feel I personally feel like B is for fun and A is for money. So technically she's like a, she's agreeing with what you're yeah. saying. Because um, Chat is a baller. She is she not nobody child. You know what I'm saying? Like she not no J V brain. And I'm not talking about the players per se, because there's a lot right. of ballers on these There are a lot of ballers on these B teams. Is these coaches, is the coach in mindset. You know what I mean? Like you you claim, like I said in my post a few weeks back, maybe a month back, you know, a lot of coaches will say, Well, I don't have the athletes or this with the girls or that with the girls, and this why we be or they scared. No, you scared. Maybe you're a B coach, maybe you're a J V coach, somebody's kid that need to get taken up out the street. You know what I mean? Stop blaming it on the girls. If you want your team to get better, then rise to the occasion. Put them in the A tournament here and there. You know what I mean? When you see A Punk and Bama on the schedule, don't be like, oh no, we're not gonna play. They on the schedule. Go ahead and play. Get some bump. But it's it's the coaching mindset. When I started playing for Lady Elite, we used to try to win one game a year. We used to, a season because we were that bad. You know what I mean? Just to make it to playoffs. We wanted to beat the worst team, okay? But we never duck wrecked. We just stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it. And we got coaches that had the same mindset as us. It's what we want to take them to a high level. And that's how we got to where we are. We didn't do it by trying to dodge the most wanted and the Lady Cougars of the world. We did it by going head to head with them. And I always tell my team every week when we see an opponent that we feel is lesser or people may feel is lesser than us, it only takes that one win for you to start to believe. Because that's what it took for us. The first time we won a game that we weren't supposed to win, that was it. They let us in. So, so the mentality. The mindset. So you think, so it's the coaches you're thinking, and the coaches are holding back the team. So I'm going to yeah. post that. I'm going to do a poll on that. I want to see. Yeah. I'm going to post. I'm going to do a poll, and we'll announce those polls next week, you guys. Um, And basically, make sure you tune in so that you can go on the store. I'm going to post it tonight. It'll be up, you know, stores 24 hours. Do girls who play on B teams really want to stay B, or do they want to say A? Or do do we see people switching teams? Because this year, I know in our league this year, I joke about this all all the time. I was like, you know what? There were girls switching teams so much this year. It was like they were changing draws as quickly as much. And then you know, <laughs> is it because they want to play A? It was just so many switching. I was like, literally, I don't lost count. Right. We got huh. one of the best players from a B team. Her name is Shy. This girl can ball. She we we asked her to come to a tournament. We were gonna be short. She had been playing B for a couple of years. When that girl got out there, she realized her potential. Like, yo, I can play with these girls. Like, what am I doing? And she came over and she's been a dog ever since. She's one of the best in the game. Like, I'm not gonna be like Bama and say she is the best. I'm joking. <laughs> I told him I was gonna I said oh, that about Rashida. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Rashida. Rashida, not the best, but she is good. She's I good. say, my, who are your top three receivers in your league? If you have to be like one, two, three, top three. And please say not on my team because the top three receivers in my is on my team. Not on your team. Top three. Now, are we talking about just catching a ball? Or are we talking about legit route runners? You know what I mean? Dog, like an overall dog receiver. Somebody who can adjust if they need to get to that ball. Somebody who, who as a quarterback, you know that's a solid catch. Okay, so so my top three, and not necessarily there's the top three. Ashley Wizard, I'm going to leave her out of this conversation because she is the, I haven't seen her play. But of course, Mambas. 
she can't be any anything you talk about she can't be left out of except for blocking back and quarterback all right then we got decoy all right decoy is legit she can do anything decoy about 100 years old no, I'm just, but she's good we're not talking about my team y'all we're not talking about my team because we got the best players on my team all around and then my third i'm gonna say my third favorite receiver uh, i'm trying to think of all the teams that's out there uh, and the last one you said was danny from the mambas Danny from the Mambas, decoy, and I'm gonna say um, that's playing right now. I'm gonna say Brittany from Capital Punishment. Okay, Danny, Brittany, decoy. Danny, Brittany, and decoy. Okay, all right, those, cool. Uh, those are my favorite three. Okay. Now okay. you want the best three? You want to know the best three? Those weren't the best three. You did favorite. The best three on I can't even name three because we got like 20 on my team that are just flat oh, out. <laughs> but by far the best, the best route runner female that I've ever seen is Bryce on my team. Best route runner. She a dog. You know, okay. everybody off of going on people's heads. It'll boogie somebody's mama. She's still getting people out of there. London going to run by you, look at you like you're crazy. We got Lindsay, all hands on deck. She catch whatever you throw her away. And then we got some youngins that's coming up. So we'll be sweet. And then all my kids can catch, of course, Ashley, D. You know what I mean? They good. <laughs> they multi-purpose. Listen, they might, they might, they listen, all y'all who she named, y'all sound good, but <laughs> I want y'all to help me pick out an outfit for her because with all of that Cuban and all, but y'all ain't none of that gonna help you y'all. My, put my shirts. You see my shirt? They love <laughs> That's what you thought. You hating me right now. <laughs> you hating me right now. I'm telling you, man, I'm about to pick out the outfit. Uh, all right, so y'all, that was us talking about, um, Halloween Havoc, DC Eli League, Atlanta Championship, so much stuff. Uh, we tried to give Coach Gates a chance to come in, but for some reason, we missed it. And Coach Gates, I'm going to give you one more chance to come in. Uh, but you'll come in the next two seconds, then we're going to catch you next show, which is fine. Other than that, we're going to go into some closing announcements, you guys, so that we can close out Hills to Clint. Uh, and the first one that I have, and then Key's going to take it away with some announcements, but um, just Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. See y'all at the field for um, the Atlanta championship it is this sunday it is win or go home so see y'all sunday make sure you check the schedule for the exact feel of where it's to be check the schedule and then keep everywhere with your announcements oh coach deuce just jumped on that's the legend that i was talking about earlier sorry coach deuce you ain't get the you know i was trying to give you your flowers because you're a genius to me um <laughs> the hat holly my girls and bryce blossom all right um Pink Miss Hookers, we got to support our women in flag. My my sis, Britt, she do nails. I forget the name of her company. Trina with the tree brand. Um, Kelly with Do It Ugly. Um, license to Chill. Not License to Chill no more. Damn, Fusion Ice. What else? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, we got some more businesses out there, but I remember for next week. Um, but yeah. I remember. Said, what oh, I sorry. I forgot my, my daughter. Choices Juice. She about to start shipping. Get on that. If you want to be fit, you want to be healthy, you want some juice that tastes good, get with Choices Juice. I'm telling you, it's legit. All right. All right. Cool, y'all. And that's it. That's that's it. Please, I'm your girl, Sean Axel. And Key Web. Have a good night. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We'll see y'all next week. All right. Peace.